What's up YouTube, I'm Josh Newland. This is season two, episode eight of the off season. In this video, I'm gonna share with you my full weekly training schedule this summer, as well as answer the question, what do I prefer to eat before training? All right, so this summer, it is my off season. Hence the name, the off season of this series. Um, this summer I've been training with a club as well as working out on my own, either here in my bedroom or at the gym with friends and playing pickup games twice a week with a group of guys. Just be clear, this has not been the schedule every single week. Of course, things come up, depends week to week, but this is ideal. This is what it normally, for the most part, my weekly training schedule looks like. So with that said, just get straight into it. So basically, it starts Monday morning, um, 9 to 11, uh, down in Phoenix. I train with my club, get there at 8.30, um, and we normally do a little bit of conditioning, fitness, a lot of times in circuits. Then we'll go into some kind of passing pattern drill, normally something like that, some technical work. And then a lot of times just play different kinds of games, 8v8, small-sided, uh, other factors in there. And then Monday night, uh, about 8.30, it's when I go out and play pickup with a group of guys from around town here. And it's a good mix, you know, a few younger guys and then a few guys 5, 10 years older than me and then some guys, you know, middle age. You know, for us younger guys, it probably builds up our confidence. Uh, just have a bit of fun, mess around. But still, you know, they take it serious. It's not just everyone's just, you know, walking around and stuff. The only reason it slows down is because we're out of shape. We normally play from about 8.30, 8.45 till 10 or 10.15. And then on Tuesday, um, don't have any practice in the morning. Normally I'll work out. Uh, I still like to get up fairly early, so probably go work out in the morning. Um, Normally, it's been at home, just using some dumbbells, and I'll, that'll be leg day for me. That'll be the first leg day of the week. So time varies, but I do that either in the morning or the afternoon. Then at night, around 7.30, I go train with an NAI commit, uh, one of my friends, also one of my brother's friends. So we get some solid uh, partner training sessions in once a week, and normally I'll also be running fitness tests, and then, uh, We'll to go into some drills after that. So normally it would be done around 9.30. Uh, I'll come home and then get up. Uh, and I have to get up around like 7.15 to get to practice at 8.30. It's about a 45 minute drive. So again, Wednesday morning practice starts at nine, goes till about 11. Then Wednesday afternoon, maybe Wednesday night, I'll do my first upper body session. Normally the way I split it, I'll do chest, back, shoulders, um, start with core of course. Just get a fair amount of exercises in for those different um, muscle groups. And Thursday, similar to Tuesday, um, if I want to I could sleep in but I like to get up at the same time for the most part around the same time. So either in the morning or the afternoon I'll get another gym session in. This will be my second leg day of the week. And like I said, they'll either be here at home with some dumbbells, um, maybe a medicine ball thrown in there, or I'll go to the gym with some friends. That workout will take you know, about an hour and a half. Thursday night is when we, the second time during the week, we have pickup. So I'll go out there around 8.30, play until about 10.15 with those guys, have some fun. Then Friday morning, my third and final team training session with my club of the week. Again, nine to 11, and normally on Fridays we do a little bit less conditioning, a little bit more, just playing. It's the last uh, training session of the week. And then in the afternoon or at night, I'll have my last um, weightlifting workout of the week, my fourth one. And it'll be my second upper body session. And this one, uh, do a little bit of biceps, triceps, and shoulders, as well as starting with core again, of course. I do core all four uh, times that I lift weights. I start with that. And this one is probably more about an hour or so, just because you don't need to spend a ton of time on 
biceps and triceps as a footballer. My final training session, my final thing of the week, Saturday morning, I've been going by myself, normally around 8.30 or so before it gets too hot. Just go for myself, um, about two hour session or so. And normally I like to work on a lot of technical stuff that I might not get to do in pickup games or at practice. So a lot of times I'll end up pinging some long balls, you know, doing some juggling the ball up and heading it. Um, just working on some of my touch a little bit more. And also I normally do some conditioning. If I don't do my fitness test at the start or one of my fitness tests, then I'll split it up, do a little bit before I start the drills and then after. So I'll be done with that between 10 and 11. And then the rest of Saturday and Sunday, I just rest. You know, it's a long week adding up all the sessions, uh, workouts, probably being pretty sore by Saturday. I'm just getting heavy legs. So I'll just rest. Um, I need to do a better job of stretching, rolling out, things like that more. But I'll take it easy after that and just hang out with friends, family, enjoy some relax, some re <laughs> relax, some relaxation. And then we start it all again on Monday morning at nine o'clock. So that is pretty much the ideal. Doesn't happen every week, but for the most part, that is my weekly training schedule this summer this off season. And to answer the question is, what is my preferred meal before fitness? I made a specific video on this a while, almost like, wow, almost two years ago now. I'll link that up here. It's probably not great quality. I was just getting started. But I've had for I don't know how long, probably at least about four years or so, just my go-to is some trail mix, almonds, walnuts, chocolate chips. Most of the time, that's what it is and then either carrots, an orange, or an apple. In the video I go into quite a bit more in detail, but I just like it because you get your healthy fats, you get some protein, get that little bit of sugar from the, the fruit and the chocolate chips in there. And then, especially if you're having apples or oranges, there's a lot of water in there, so it helps you feel more hydrated and it also just all tastes good. The fruit, um, apples, or oranges, and carrots, which are vegetables, you know, those will give you some good micronutrients. It's not too heavy. Uh, it'll, it'll make you feel full enough. And I usually do that about 30 minutes before pretty much every practice, game, workout. That's what I like to do. But of course, a lot of times I'm having two a days, so I won't eat that exact meal more than twice a day. Normally I'll find something else. That is my favorite preferred go-to snack before any kind of fitness. So I'd recommend you guys try that out. Just in general, you don't wanna go into any kind of training on a completely empty stomach. You definitely don't wanna overfill yourself or eat the wrong things, eat really heavy stuff, but you should be having something that gives you some kind of energy, carbs, you know, you always, you need to get getting protein throughout the whole day. Then also be hydrating and, you know, eating fruit like oranges or apples will also help that a little bit. So thank you for the question. I appreciate it. Like always with this series, leave your questions for me below. I'll answer all of them regardless, but I will pick one very special one and answer it in the next off season episode. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, you like this kind of content, you're interested in college soccer, what the lifestyle is around it. If you want to learn more about the sport, about fitness, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also turn notifications on so you know when these episodes come out, when new videos come out. I post every Wednesday and Saturday. Can't thank you guys enough for your support. I will see you on Wednesday.